Hello everybody, it is the uh, 10th of May 2011 and this is your silver bubble update. Yes, silver in a bubble. Just figured this out a, a few moments ago, really. I always considered a bubble to be something that finds a significant top and has a, a significantly violent or harsh correction from its top, which would be the case if, of course, this is the top, that has a significant bear market to follow. Usually making new lows, but at least coming back to them. The last ones are $8.46. I don't think that's going to happen. I think this top will be taken out this year. I came out stating, well, $100 is likely for this year. And I'm much more convinced on this with the moves and the fact that silver's in a bubble. What the market's done within these trend lines that are drawn in, found resistance close to this point here, it came back below, it might be a major pierce below, but it really came between the 50% retracement from this line to this line. Could find resistance there and move back lower. After all, silver is in a bubble. And the reason why it's in a bubble is based on definition, at least the one given from Wikipedia, which states... An economic bubble, sometimes referred to as a speculative bubble, a market bubble, price bubble, financial bubble, speculative mania, or a balloon is trade in high volumes at prices that are considerably at variance with intrinsic values. It could also be described as a trade in products or assets with inflated prices, which I guess is the one I was referring to as this. But what's important is what's written in quotes. Trade in high volumes at prices that are considerably at variance with intrinsic values. With a trade in high volumes, 30 million shares, 20, used, 20 million used to be the average, now over 100. Check mark. Variance with intrinsic values. That means a major disconnect. A, a difference that's just way out of whack. Because that's considerably saying that. And variance means a difference within the two. So therefore we see the spot price moving up from 30 into the 50 level. Paper bringing it up. And then paper bringing it down. 50 back down to 35. Now the entire economic system is really in this type of variant. Because inflation has been extremely low. Hot dogs at the ballpark should be $27 by now. There should be no reason why we have not seen the products increase as low other than because people wouldn't be able to afford them. But as far as silver is concerned, in itself within the quotes, high volumes has been the case and the variance with intrinsic values is definitely there at a considerable level. Thank you for watching.